the sheriff's office received a call that a couple of kids that were had been at a family farm uh, had failed to return and and uh, they were missing. Saturday night, police arrived on scene at a pond nine miles outside Savannah, Missouri on County Road 153. During the search, it was noticed that there was a about a six foot diameter hole in the ice out in the middle of the pond. That's where police found 17 year olds Andre Lance and Tyler Brandt underneath thin ice, which they fell through and drowned earlier that afternoon. Both students of Savannah High School that on Monday had to inform more than 700 students two of their classmates won't be at school anymore. Pretty hard. Um, students and staff are really having a pretty hard time right now. In his third year as Savannah principal, Zach Coughlin formatted Monday's school day to fit the needs of grieving students. We've had students with counselors almost all day. Uh, we had students going and seeking out teachers who they could sit and talk with, seeking out uh, friends who they could sit and reminisce with. It's very hard to believe that kids you saw on Friday aren't going to be in the hallways on Monday. In remembrance, four posters, two for each victim, covered with messages from friends such as rest in peace and we will always remember you, hang in a quiet hallway, showing how important these two were to this community. Had a lot of friends, had a lot of people who cared about them and, and they cared about everybody who they came in contact with. And so um, even if you didn't directly know them, uh, you knew of them and you knew the impact that they were having on, on other people. Principal Coughlin said what made the duo so great was their positive attitude and they could cheer up anybody at any time. His challenge now is to try and return the school back to a sense of normalcy. In Savannah, I'm Adam Waltz, Fox 26, KNPN.